Well, residents at Marsling Crescent and Marsling Lane were left shocked and surprised when they were told that they'd have to move out of their flats in around six years to make way for the extension of Woodlands Choke Point. Now, while some are looking forward to relocating to brand new subsidised flats, others are upset to leave what they've called home for years. Lisa Rodney with this report. A new chapter awaits these Marsling residents. Officers from the Housing and Development Board, Immigration and Checkpoints Authority, as well as the Singapore Land Authority, went door to door with these files Thursday afternoon. Inside lie the fates of residents living here, one of the nine blocks slated for redevelopment. Some had already received text messages ahead of the visits, others were taken aback by the sudden knock on their doors. Hello, ADB. No, really shocked us, eh? Because uh, suddenly I received all those uh, message from HDB and ICA. Because I stay here 17 years already. And I also think last time I think I want to sell this house. Now got the new block better lah. I want to got new block. I go and change. Mixed feelings actually because we, I just shifted here not more than five years, and um, we just had a good neighbors and they just shifted about two years and then we were happy about it and then suddenly you know we have to um, you know move into a new place here. Yeah. Here is very convenient. Market, uh, supermarket all have yeah. Then bus also very good. Then especially last time I haven't talked down, JV, go JV also nearby. All households received these pamphlets, inviting them for a chat to share questions and concerns with government representatives. This area being set up is where HDB officers will be conducting sharing sessions for owners and tenants from the affected blocks. Here, residents will be provided with more information on the purpose of the acquisition as well as rehousing benefits. Priorities for Mr Zaki Mohammad, the Member of Parliament for this constituency, is to inform residents about their options, help them through the process and give them assurances. I can probably understand some who may have financial considerations, um, some may have fully paid their debts, others may have not, some have recently moved in, so they have various circumstances that we need to uh, work with and therefore I think let us uh, work through the next few days to better understand um, the different situations and different, I suppose, individual um, challenges lah, for residents and see how we can work through them too. Mr Zaki adds that with the new flats just a stone's throw away and with familiar amenities still within reach, his optimistic residents will welcome the move.